This is JTR back for another review. Today we have the Jurassic World Dino Trackers Danger Pack Elaphrosaurus. Um, let's get it out of the box. I like how they have a loud click so they don't um, fall out in shipping. Um, let's take a look. Um, we have the signature Dino Trackers um, Blue and Beta right here. Um, looks really nice, much better than the Dominion packaging in my opinion. Um, it says Jurassic World. Kind of, this is weird that they put that logo too. It looks like the original the Jurassic World logo. Um, Dino Trackers, this one's a jungle theme, um, themed dinosaur. I guess it's supposed to be in the jungle, um, different areas. On the back of the box, um, it's a bunch of danger stuff about choking and stuff. Um, on the back, we see four different other ones you can get. Well, one of them is the one that's right here. But yeah, so... Here is the Dino Trackers um, Alaphrosaurus. Let's talk about the paint. Um, <laughs> the paint, there's barely any. It's much better than the Brachiosaurus. I wouldn't say as good as the Nothosaurus. Um, uh, it's okay. I mean, the blue could be a little bit darker. It's not a bright blue. It might appear that way on camera. Uh, it's more of like a dark turquoise. Um, we have this nice little green pattern, uh, pattern coming down um, the body. It's on both sides, as you can see. Um, goes on the neck, doesn't go fully up to the head. Um, and there's a little transition right here that looks kind of bad. Uh, the black or dark gray going into like the dark turquoise. Uh, but if you look really closely, they did try to fade it. Um, you can see that little shiny spot. Uh, that is like that print that kind of looks bad, but they put on a lot of their figures by the eyes. Um, I think it connects to this actually, the print by the eye, but you can see that they tried to fade that. So that is more paint on the figure technically. Um, we got no underbelly paint. Uh, the bottom jaw is a different color and I hate when they do a bottom jaw a different color when there's nothing on the underbelly. And even on like some of the original Tyrannosaurus Rex figures we've gotten, it still looks bad with underbelly paint because it's just so abrupt because it's not really paint, it's just a piece of plastic of that color. Um, personally, I know they don't paint the back halves of their figures very often. Um, I know a lot of people hate that. But I still feel like we didn't really need that a ton ton on this figure. Um, but I feel like Mattel should have just put the extra five cents into each figure and put this color right here on these um, like neck flaps or I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not sure if it's really feathering um, because like this is its own kind of signature color right here. And that would look perfect. Um, and it wouldn't have gone down the whole neck, but it would have made sense if that would have been painted. Um, yeah, and, I mean, that's it for the paint. There's not much on this figure. Um, looks better than some from Mattel, but it's definitely nothing that's, like, really good. Um, well, let's move on to, like, the sculpt detail. Um, on this figure, we do see some very good sculpting detail. You can see on the leg, um, I mean, there is a ton of little scales. It looks very, very nice. Um, you see some of those scales moving down um, on the tail just in certain spots not fully on the tail on the arm you see a little bit the arms aren't sculpted out as detailed as the rest of the body for some reason um what's really cool is, is usually i wouldn't like this but since this is a very detailed figure um they put a super light coat of green paint on there and it kind of looks like almost it was dry brushed <laughs> almost keyword uh because you can see each little um, scale abruptly over under the paint because the paint wasn't thick enough. And I think that looks really nice. But yeah, uh, overall, just normal underbelly from Mattel, um, bottom of the feet. If you look at the inside of the mouth, um, hold on. Uh, some sculpting on the roof of the mouth. Um, I feel like it actually looks extremely bad on the bottom jaw. It's just very strict and abrupt. Um, there's like no depth going into the mouth it's just flat and it's actually p poking out of the mouth somewhat um yeah i feel like they really should have made that better um but yeah um that's the detailing overall i'm not gonna go super in depth and here's your guys' scan code there you guys go hopefully you can read that um, um now let's move on to articulation 
uh, on this figure, we get leg articulation, uh, we get arm articulation, we don't get the second joint because this isn't the $10 assortment, this is $7.99, or it depends on your area. Some targets are way more expensive than other stores because, um, like, the online stuff, it's really weird what's going on right now. Um, I did get this at Rite Aid, so I had to pay an extra $3 for it, so I had to pay $10.99 for this one. But yeah, um, we do get that new neck joint that is a new thing starting with the Dominion line um, for this assortment. And it looks very nice to have that. It just th makes the figure feel so much better for toy photography. This for about anything. Um, just put it on display in different poses. Rather than just the neck being stuck like that, you can have it like this. And if you want like a nice low um, hunting pose, you can have it like that. It just looks so much nicer when we get that neck joint. I mean, we have a jaw joint too, but that's basically it for the articulation. We have this little tail movement, but it really has to just stay in one spot or it looks weird because how the sculpt was planned out. But yeah, um, that's the articulation. Let's move on to the views for this figure. Uh, let's see if I can get it to stand. Uh, not the best view, but view one. View two. View three. I feel like I did that wrong. <laughs> view four. I may have done that wrong actually, but yeah. Um, let's do a size comparison compared to some well known um, Jurassic World figures and Jurassic Park. Mostly Jurassic Park, I guess they actually all are um, from the Hammond collection. We got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sorry if I sound really stuffed up. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick right now. Um, there's the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Make sure you get that more on the shot. And here's the Hammond Collection Gallimimus. And here is the Laphrosaurus. Um, it's a little bit smaller, I'd say, than the Hammond Collection Gallimimus. Um, the tail is actually pretty long on it, which I do admire. And it's not just because of the pose. Like, if I change the pose to something quite similar to this, um, it still is a much bigger figure. Let me show you guys that. Um, <coughs> right here. You can see that it's, like, just overall much wider, much bigger. But it's not necessarily a small figure for this assortment. Um, I've noticed that some of the $9.99 or Hammond collection at that size because of a bigger budget have been slightly bigger, but overall it's around the same size point. Um, compared to the Triceratops, it's pretty pretty small, and compared to the T-Rex, it's just pretty, <laughs> it's just dwarfed by it completely. Uh, now let's take these out of the shot and move on to uh, one through 10, like what I rate this figure. Um, the articulation is decent. The sculpt is actually decent. Paint, it's kind of meh. Um, I've seen much better from Mattel, even not in their collector's line. Um, so I'd rate this, I don't know, maybe um, an eight due to the good articulation, like the neck joint, and extremely high detailing. I mean, the legs are just, you can really see the sculpting, almost Hammond Collection detail level on that. So I guess, I, yeah, I give it like a, I guess it's to eight. Um, I mean, there's not a ton more they could do articulation and sculpt when this isn't in a high-priced line of figures. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys all so much for watching this review. Um, please like the video and consider subscribing. I have an Instagram. Um, it's Jurassic Tree Official. Please head over there and follow me and like my posts. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your night. See you later.